This is the Wednesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with weather. Well, Dick, we have one storm to our southeast. That's going to kind of back toward the state a little bit tonight, and it will spread the possibility of some occasional snow and rain showers across southeastern New Mexico. And then it looks like beyond that, we may get a little break tomorrow morning before the next storm comes down. This one is far colder, but doesn't have all that much moisture with it. So as it comes in, snow showers possible around the four corners late tomorrow night and over the northern mountains. Everybody else gets a ton of wind by Friday and very cold temperatures through the weekend. Governor Susana Martinez has decided to take advantage of President Obama's Health Care Act and expand Medicaid health insurance to 170,000 more New Mexicans. That means all New Mexico adults making less than $15,400 a year will have insurance coverage starting next year. The federal government will pay 100 percent of the cost for the first three years then the amount the feds pay will gradually decrease to 90 percent by 2020. The governor says the people covered by this expansion are already driving health care costs up because they have no insurance, so we should let the feds step in and pay for it. If we were to expand Medicaid, the feds would pay a higher portion for these individuals' health care, and the state would actually save money a net figure of about $16 million in the first year alone. But the governor says if the feds later cut state reimbursement rates because of Washington's huge debt crisis, she will not hesitate to drop needy adults from the program in order to protect children covered by Medicaid. The Rio Grande Zoo's very popular 18-year-old koala has been euthanized. Biopark officials say Zaki was put down yesterday they made what they call a difficult decision after he lost a significant amount of weight in recent weeks and became very weak. Zookeepers described Zaki as easygoing and say he enjoyed having his ears scratched. The koala was one of the oldest in captivity and the only Victorian koala in North America. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.